this is the piece that I added. It is a cell phone mount. All right, it's not revolutionary or anything, but it's a piece that I've replaced probably now for the third time. And I went with this model just because it's a better material. It's like a metal. I'm using it on the tripod. I dropped the tripod and it was plastic, so it broke. Uh, this one is constructed well. It actually has better features than what I was using prior anyway. You have a couple mounts here that you can add a, a mic, light, and the versatility of it, you know, moving around. And I'll show you how it works. I would open this up. I would set my cell phone in here and I would tighten it up. Some padding in the inside so it's not gonna hurt your cell phone if you don't have a, uh, a case around it. So I will tighten this up. Back here, you can lock your cell phone in place. So like that, it won't open up on you, all right? If I wanted to use a vertical, I could adjust it. I can move it around this way and adjust it to whichever angle I need it. And go landscape if I wanted to. I would have to position the phone in the middle to use a landscape. If not, it's gonna tip over. It comes with this little piece here. Just put this in here as a stand and it will just hold it in place for me. And I can kind of like record myself if I didn't have a tripod or anything. If you're not gonna use the stand, you just put the stand clip back on and just leave it there. One of the other parts that I liked about, about this mount was that I can use a tripod and it lets you screw it on here in the bottom. And if I want it then to use it like that, I could. Not all mounts have that uh, screwing option. Some you have to clip. You have three more positions here in the bottom and I can screw it there if I needed to use it like that. So I use this other small tripod, it's from Yulanzi. You know, it gives you all the adjustments. I, this is the one that I actually use for vlogging and I'm usually walking around with it. And that's actually the one that we're using on the GoPro. I'm gonna link this one down below too. When I bought this tripod, it came with a it came with the GoPro mount. This is actually what we're using to record myself now. It's one of these with this attachment and I have the GoPro on top of here. He's just holding it and I just usually just hold it like that and I record myself talking. And if, uh, if there's no one there to help me, I'll just use it as a tripod myself and put it on a table and just record myself that way. But if you're looking to vlog and showcase your Riker or Spider and you're overthinking like you don't have a camera, use your cell phone. Just with these little three accessories, you're, you have a whole like creator kit in itself. The important part is the cell phone. If you didn't have the option for any of the accessories, you can record landscape or vertical for Instagram just with your cell phone. Don't hold yourself back from creating memories online. And you could always then go back and take a look at it. All right, one more thing that I liked about this cell phone mount is the fact that I really just needed to record something. I had no one at home or with me to help me record. I can take this mount and I can use an actual tripod, set it, because it has the grooves there for it, and I'd be able to adjust it. This tripod, um, goes up to I think six feet so I can extend the legs and I can pretty much or record on my own so very versatile I like the fact that it does all that much kind of like why I gravitated to this one and just the build quality the functions it kind of just kicks everything else in the butt for the money you can't go wrong I'm gonna link everything down below that being said I hope you spend the next couple months creating just vlogging recording your Riker or Spider and putting it on YouTube for your own video library and share it with everybody. People love to see, I personally love to see how other people have customized their Spider and Riker. If you anything about this video that you like, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you need any help, shoot me a message and maybe I can give you some tips on how to record on your own, all right?